how to access the, the client's documents. In the client line or contact, depending, it could be a lead and not, not the client necessarily, you can click here, the D, D for documents, okay? Then, once inside here, we have several things that you should consider. First, if you haven't received any of these documents from your client, you can mark them like this, and like this, etc., as appropriate, and then um, uh, once they are marked, you you will be notified every two days if the program notices that the marked documents are not yet received. In, o in other words, uh, the program is going to send an email to your client every two days, reminding them um, that a particular document has not been received and also with the link to their portals so they can add that document which in turn will come automatically uh, into here okay so this is uh, the automatic process to remind your client now let's say that you um, receive the documents in any other way and you have them in your hard drive so it will be possible to click import, correct, and choose the file. So we're going to do um, driver's license like this and put it here. As you can see, now it's green. And if I click, it will open and you can see it. So obviously, if I mark this one, nothing is going to happen. So that there is no harm and no necessity either if I mark this uh, box since uh, the driver's license already here. If for whatever, uh, whatever reason you um, this is not the right document, you can clear it, okay? Um, also, it's possible even to paste um, document, but it has to be either a PDF uh, file or uh, an image and to paste it directly, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, um, you can have PDFs and images here, but to paste is only an image. Um, sorry for that. So to paste will be only an image, but it's possible. And, uh, and when importing, you can import a PDF or you can import an image. Also notice that once this one was imported, so in other words, that is available, you can select if you want them um, to print collated into the letters uh, as appropriate. So, for example, you may choose the um, driver's license and the social security. You need to have them available in order in order to uh, to be able to to print. Obviously, if it's empty, you won't be able to print them. So. Only the ones that are, are printable, uh, you are gonna be are gonna. They're gonna have the box here. Um, also, you can print the marked documents if you want to do a test or whatever. You can use the pre-marked documents. Um, also, here in these generic notes, you can put whatever you want, but essentially uh, can be used mainly to identify these three other documents. So you, you can put whatever um, whatever is the right documents. Or you can say one x uh, se se second second utility. But you can have here utility bill, right? And uh, but uh, you may have a, a second utility bill, for example, or whatever it is, or a receipt or of, of sorts. Um, don't forget that you can also add unlimited attachments into the notes. But these are, are the ones that will be possible to print collated into the letters by using uh, not these check boxes, but instead the ones at the bottom that will show up as soon as 
we have a document. I'm going to import a PDF just to, oh, sorry, I click, I click there, but I meant to import. So I'm going to import um, a social security sample here. And you see, um, so now this one showed up. So that means that I can mark it. And these two will be printing either from here or either uh, automatically when you are printing letters. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.